This is from Shaq. This wow! Spelled, it's spelled different. Oh. It's spelled like the, uh, the hut or the burger place. Oh. This leads into a much deeper conversation. Oh. Shaq writes, can we invite Keith Olbermann to the, join the Discord? <laughs> I forgot that happened. <laughs> oh, I was going to lead the show with that. I forgot, too. <laughs> Talk about what happened. Uh, so Sportsnet tweeted um, that watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle will not be happening this Saturday, obviously because the Leafs-Canucks game is postponed. And uh, most people were like, oh, no. And Elliot Friedman tweeted a gif of all the Simpsons carrying torches and things of that nature. And, you know, obviously a bunch of people responded like, oh, man, good. I'm glad I don't like him because, I don't know, not everyone likes me. That's fine. But one of them was Keith Olbermann. And, who was happy that you weren't streaming on Saturday. And I was just like, who? when did I ever insult Keith, Keith Olbermann? And the only thing I could find is last year he tweeted something about the Leafs and I commented on it in a YouTube video. But, like, it was pretty tame. And I don't know why Keith Olbermann doesn't like me. And he, then whatever. you went to his profile. Well, you, oh, tried, yeah. you tried to go to his profile. Well, so what he said was, oh, I don't have anything against him personally. It's, uh, I just, I'm done with alternate streams, which is a very peculiar, th uh, peculiar what, what a, thing to say about what someone... Thing Sorry, let me, what a thing to have an axe to grind against. Yeah. Alter, I hate alternate streams. Because uh, that I, is a fucking new take. thing. He probably doesn't like the attention that the Manning cast received because it's very good. And I don't know. Like, oh, the Manning cast is sick. Yeah. I've never seen it. I don't know. Oh. But anyway, so yeah, to finish your story. Well, it's just it, his point falls a little flat because he's got me blocked. So I don't know. Oh, man. Will, him and William Shatner. And both it's all right. You're not missing. You're not missing anything with Will Shatner. That no, guy's I a know. fucking asshole. He is. He's a fucking asshole. Can we just say it? And as, as I don't know, as I, Canadians, can me. we stop celebrating this guy? The last time I saw Will Shatner come up on 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 Twitter <laughs> is is he fucking went after one of our listeners who's a meteorologist in New Brunswick. That's what got me blocked. No, no Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. And I was like. Like, <laughs> why? You're Will. You're William Shatner. William Shatner. Why are you going after a guy who's just come making his way up in the media business? Yeah. You a hole. And <laughs> it's so funny. I remember somebody at our uh, at our radio station like ten years ago. Will Shatner's always been like this on Twitter. Mm -hmm. But our radio station like ten years ago tried to tweet something complimentary at him, and he took it the wrong way, and like almost like he he like lost his mind. Like tweet 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 tweet. Like. What? Oh yeah, and like blocked him. And my, I remember the guy tweeting out afterwards, and he, he was in the news department. He's like, he's like, man, I used to be the biggest William Shatner fan. Oh, this is what I'm talking about, right? That stuff sucks. Yeah, like this is the kind of guy who would go to a Star Trek convention, and Will Shatner's like, fuck you. Well, he's a dick. He's just a fucking dick. So this... and also get your grandfather off Twitter. It's not good for anybody, but especially not him. Who are the people around him? You need your team. How does Will Shatner not have a s social media team? Oh, who hasn't had to send a dad get off Facebook text over the last oh, yeah. couple of years? Yeah. Um, Damn. But uh, no, this is this is pathetic, but I'm willing to admit it because it adds to the story. For a, I think it was a grade 12 media assignment. I had to write like two people in broadcasting I liked. And so I put Bill Waters because I always listen to... I can't remember. Was it, like, it's Jeff Merrick and Bill Waters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but, like, I didn't want to put two guys from the same show, so I, I put Bill Waters because I, you know, I don't know. I just liked how boisterous he was about the Leafs. Yeah. Can you imagine? And, uh, you know, political punditry and rants were big at the time when I was in high school. Um, so I put Keith over. <laughs> well, and Keith Olbermann had... A, I was 17. He had a pretty storied career at ESPN. Like, oh, yeah. I didn't forget. even know that when I put him. Really? He, you just thought he was a political guy at MSNBC? Yeah. Well, I I read about, like, when I first got it to really know Keith Olbermann, it was, like, in the ESPN book, which, by the way, is a fantastic read, and you should read it. Yeah, he keeps saying that. Um, but, to. like, they talk about him like he's a genius. And I'll, I'll tell you this. I think people have their time and their place. And, and then it's done. And well, it, it can be. But, but Chris Johnson uh, said to me once, and it's one of the best pieces of advice I've ever heard. From CJ? I can't believe it. I know. Crazy, right? Mm. He said, longevity is a skill. Mm. Mm. Longevity is a skill. Mm. And it is. 
And the thing is, like, I watched, I followed Keith Olbermann all the way through his, like, his, you know, because I saw a little bit of the tail end of the MSNBC career. And then he, he, he worked with, like, GQ for a year to boost their social media. And he did, like, political rants, like his show, mm -hmm. but on GQ's Twitter account. I remember that. Yeah, I used to watch yeah. them. And, and the thing is, the guy is clearly great with words, great communicator, whatever. Yeah. But then he does stupid shit like this. And it's like, I, sometimes you date somebody and you're like, I get why you're single. <laughs> is here's, that something I do? Like, here's a guy. Here's a guy. Who who who's like you know what the guy I'm gonna go after is the fucking is like the Elmo of hockey, <laughs> like literally the nicest person in hockey. I'm gonna you know what not Gary Bettman, no no not the Chicago Blackhawks no no Steve Dangle. I don't know about the who wouldn't nicest. hurt a fly. I, I don't know about the nicest. There are some people who don't like me, and I'm like, yep, I earned it and good. But, yeah, that's fine. But not with everyone him, I was like just you. Confused. But it was just one of those where it's like I'm just gonna. I'm going to show my million dollar my million followers what a fuckhead Steve Dangle is like. Yeah. And it, and the Did funny it get thing, a lot of traction? No, it got like 49 yeah. likes. And, but then when he <laughs> He's got He's got a million followers. Dude, if I tweeted fart, I would get more likes than that. When if he I got the, the backlash word fart, from the fans, um then he put in a veiled it's because of side cast stream. Yeah, yeah it's which it wasn't which it he, wasn't. He no. blocked you long before that. I assume so. Yeah. I don't know. I, I guess you kept showing up on his timeline, Steve. I oh. haven't yeah. thought of Keith Olbermann for a long time. Well, there's not much to think about. Except for that one leap. I still me. follow the guy, but I keep waiting for Keith Olbermann to be Keith Olbermann again. Like, uh, when are you going to go out and be talented again, man? When are you going to put something compelling to air? Yeah. That's my thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I anyway, don't have an I was, abundance of thoughts. It was just... Oh, I just fucking... That I shit drives me confused. crazy. Listen, like, listen, we all take shots at people. I get it. Sure. But, sure. like, at least make sure it's deserved. Yeah. Is that fair? Right. right. Anyway. On a previous Adam's history, history Corner, we talked about Billy Bishop and why Billy Bishop is a fraud. <laughs> Adam, Nick Chambers on our Discord uh -huh. wants, you to, it wants you to talk about Leo Major. Leo Major. Are you capable um, of doing that? I have, to, I have to go back. So he's, yeah, he's the French-Canadian soldier who won the Distinguished Conduct thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know enough about Leo Major right now to do it. Okay. Like, I'd have to go back and research this, but this guy was kind of a badass, so um, if because, I could... Because Billy Bishop was the fraud, he's kind of the Can antithesis. We, he would be antithesis. the antithesis. And, and Leo Major's the kind of guy, if you want a statue built, this is the guy you build a statue for. Uh, but I think a lot of the time, too, back then, French-Canadian versus English-Canadian probably would have been ignored. Uh, I, I, you know how people were. Um, so... If you can, can we make a note for next episode? I will talk about Leo Major in the press conference. Are you going to remember? Yes. I will make the note right now. Okay. Leo Major press conference. Wednesday. Leo Major. Nick press. Chambers on Wednesday. We will have your Leo Major Adams History Corner.